Hey everyone, another abstract algebra problem is on the chopping block in this video, a problem again taken from a graduate level text, Thomas Sunkward's Algebra. This time our problem concerns Boolean rings. What's a Boolean ring? Well, simply any ring for which any element you pick and square, it equals itself. With that definition on the table, we want to prove two things. Number one, A plus A will always be the additive identity element of our ring. And number two, it turns out every Boolean ring is commutative, or commutative means commutative on multiplication. But before delving into the nitty-gritty of this particular problem, let's first recap the essentials of a ring. A ring is a set endowed with two binary operations, which out of convenience we'll call plus and dot. R on plus, i.e. on addition, has to be an abelian group, and R on dot, which we'll call multiplication, has to exhibit closure, exhibit associativity, and distributive law, obedience, left and right. Now, with that refresher in mind, one fruitful way of approaching this problem goes like so. Pick any element you want from any Boolean ring, which we'll call R. And we'll call the element x. So, x plus x has to be an R by the definition of a ring, add of closure, and moreover, by the definition of a Boolean ring, we know that x plus x squared, i.e. x plus x, all times x plus x, has to be x plus x. And next, we focus on that key term, x plus x, the entire thing squared. First, we write it like so, and secondly, note that we can take that entire yellow x plus x via left side distributive law obedience to both the blue x and the red x, and from there, we can utilize right side distributive law obedience to rewrite the entire right side as 4x squares added together. After that, utilize the definition of a Boolean ring to rewrite that as 4x's add together, and finally, utilize the itty bitty fact up top in red to note that 4x's add together is the same as 2x's add together for any element x in R. And with the significant rewriting process out of the way, slap some well-chosen sets of parentheses into this equation and add to both sides the additive inverse of x plus x. This allows us to prove statement number one in one fell swoop. x plus x equals the additive identity element for all elements x in our ring. Proof of one is done. And we're actually going to use statement number one in our proof of statement number two now, that every Boolean ring is commutative. First, pick any pair of elements from our ring, call them x, y. Then we know that due to add of closure, x plus y is an r, and due to the definition of a Boolean ring, x plus y, the entire thing squared, has to be x plus y. As before, focus on that key term, that squared term, and rewrite it using distributive law, obedience, both left and right, again, just like we did before. This time we got a y in there, but it's going to come out to be x squared plus y, x plus x, y plus y squared, which again, equals x plus y, so we're going to set all that equal to x plus y, and then utilize the definition of a Boolean ring two times to rewrite x squared as x, y squared as y, make the appropriate substitutions, and add to both sides the additive inverse of x and the additive inverse of y. Doing this yields something quite promising in our interest of proving commutativity. yx plus xy is the additive identity element. Now add the additive inverse of xy to both sides, so we have yx equaling the additive inverse of xy for all x and y in our ring. Here is where statement number one comes into play. Statement number one says that any element A, if you add it to itself, it's going to be the additive identity element. That is equivalent to saying that any element A that you pick in your ring is its additive inverse. So if negative xy is in our ring, then negative xy has to be positive xy. And so we have proven commutativity in one easy swoop here. yx equals xy for all x, y in our ring, every Boolean ring is commutative. 